la la la. Hello everybody and welcome. I'm Simon Leach. <laughs> Here we are in Spain. The sun is shining again, which is always good news because we've had about at least a week of bad weather and rain and oh, horrible. So when the sun comes back, we can live again. I don't know about you, but when you're um, decorating, I'll just bring the camera down here to where, where I'm at down there. Um, let's move in a bit. As you can see, I've got a pot there on a banding wheel. I'll just try to um, get you in the picture. Um, if, you're, if you're using brushes, why not make yourself a little, roll out a bit of clay, simply like that, on your workbench. And then with, with the actual paintbrush, just, whoops, I've broken it. <laughs> this is not fired, it doesn't need to be fired. But you've then got a, a rest. If you're doing decorating and painting, you put the brush down and it rolls off and rolls away. It's a nuisance. Something like that, just to keep it in position is a good idea. Um, this is a, a turned bowl. It's in the leather hard stage at the moment. Um, it's going to have going to have a, a, a clay ash glaze over over it, in fact the one I've been mixing up, <coughs> if that one turns out to be successful. Um, and just here I've got, I hope that's in the picture, let me just check, oh yes it is, that's okay. Um, I've got here, this is a, a white slip, a white ingobi. All right, I've got one of these kind of broad, I think they call them hake brushes. Okay, now, just to tell you about the slip, the slip is made up of 50% china clay and 50% stoneware clay. And the stoneware clay I'm actually using is not this stoneware clay, but it's another one that is much lighter in colour. So that's my, my slip. Now what I want to do is, I'm having to be a bit spontaneous here and I may make a fool of myself, but never mind. I'm just going to actually just brush on a little bit of that sort of water there. I've got some water here in a cut off water bottle. Uh, just because the reason I'm doing this is because it you find the um, the clay is very dry and when you apply a slip to it like that it can as soon as the brush physically touches it here it can go claggy, if you get my meaning. In other words, it dries almost on the brush and then the, it doesn't flow off the brush. What we want is whatever it is we're painting with to flow off the brush, not to get sort of constipated on the end of the brush. So I've just wet the, the, the pot there just a little bit. Um, and you can perhaps see what I've done there. <clears throat> I'm actually going to As I'm talking to you, I'm sort of pondering, as it were, well, what am I going to put on here? I'm going to paint uh, something on here, and um, it could be a, a landscape such as we have around here, uh, the hills. I could say we have a some sort of jagged mountains around here which are quite spectacular so
Now I've got here a Chinese chopstick for eating. I've sharpened the uh, the end of it there, and um, just adding a few grasses there in a kind of random way. Remember if you're doing grasses or copying anything that you think of it you see in nature. Nature is never symmetrical. So keep keep your patterns asymmetrical, not symmetrical. I think maybe these grasses are sort of have a feeling of that they're 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 leaning over one way because I think the wind is coming from this way. <clears throat> and so just now this this is just completely off the cuff. I haven't really as I say I didn't think about this at all. Probably it's probably better not because when you're on camera you get all sort of self-conscious and just make a fool of yourself so well I want this sort of lower bit here, I don't know if you can see but to be slightly of a darker I say darker but the the thickness of the ingobi to be a bit more so it's like a sort of you can see a sort of a horizon here if you get my meaning all right, so I think that's as far as I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to clean that there. Now that's going to be was going to dry. It's going to have a, a bis uh, be biscuit fired. All right, and then um, we'll have an ash glaze over it. I'm very much playing around with this ash glaze. If anybody's got any tips, please send them to me. Because I'm learning with this in this as much as you are, I promise you. So I'll be looking forward to doing some tests on some of these. I've done some other little pots I did here, some small bowls, which I'll just show you quickly. These are some small bowls with sprigs on, you see, which I want to put this ash glaze over as well. Sprigs, easy to do little ball of clay, push it on and then just pull it out like that, smear it. Okay, okay, right, right. better call it a day there because we're probably going to be out of time. Okay, Simon Leach saying, keep practicing and we'll see you soon. Bye now.